This week's movie pitch for Willem Dafoe mm. is called The Taste of Crime. Yeah. Willem Dafoe plays the, <laughs> the tongue arm of the law, Sergeant Lick, <laughs> who has a superhero power, which he got after eating a radioactive ice cream. He has got the power to taste crimes <laughs> with his radioactive, augmented tongue. Wow. Is Any... it big? No, How it's, it's no, normal. It's, regular? It's, okay. it's normal, but okay. what, it's what he does with it. Maybe it's green. We'll, we'll make it green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special. Yeah. Effects, we'll yeah. have him, like, chew on a green sweet and it'll make <laughs> him go green. So he's got this green tongue. Mm. And what he does is, when they catch a criminal, he can tell if they're guilty or not by licking their face <laughs> and tasting the guilt. And he can taste the exact crime when it happened and who he did it to and where the body is. So he'll sit people down and go, I know you did it, Johnny. And Johnny, who is played by Brendan Fraser, says, I didn't do it, chief. <laughs> oh, no. Like it's Dudley goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Willem the mm -hmm. Foe says, Well, looks like you've had your last lick of freedom. And then he grabs <laughs> uh, Brendan Fraser's head at the by the ears. He grabs him by the ears and then just licks him long and hard along his face, from his chin across his lips, over his nose and his forehead, <laughs> and into his hair. And just <laughs> oh. and he goes. Sexta baby, throw him in the jail where he will never come out of it. How, does, how do people know that he's not lying? He could just be licking people and say, oh yeah, this one, uh, you know, smoke some crack, put him in the brig. You know, he could just lick anyone and say anything he wants. Well, I've anticipated your concern. Yeah. Don't think, don't think I haven't thought all the plot holes through. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. And I've dealt with that problem... By yes. never addressing it. <laughs> okay? They just totally trust his radioactive tongue. It, it never comes up. As soon as he licks you, you know you're done. Because he'll, the truth will out. And it tastes of justice. <laughs> so he will, he will lick Brendan Fraser, put him into jail. Right? Except a bad thing has happened. Right? What, what happened? Oh, fuck. It is. <laughs> bin Laden has come to town. What? Osama Bin Laden? Osama Bin Laden, right, mm. in his giant turban helicopter. <laughs> He's got a helicopter? Yeah, and he is... like a turban? Yeah, and he is played by Gene Simmons, who is all browned up. This is not racist. The, uh, the bass player for Kiss. Yeah, right. and he threatens to blow up New York. If he doesn't get given a thousand dollars, why don't they just give him? Why don't I have a thousand dollars? I would just give it to him because they were going to. The mayor of New York says, "Well, we've got. I've got a thousand dollars in my pocket. I'm rich. Why yeah. don't we give it to him?" And Willem Dafoe puts his hand on his wrist and says, "Don't you dare! Something tastes bad of crime, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna." Lick it. <laughs> I haven't thought these puns through. No, that's not, that's, you don't need puns. You just need honest acting. So anyway, he spends his time licking his way through New York's undercover Al-Qaeda circuit. Why? There's no mystery to be solved. Everyone knows it's just Osama Bin Laden in his turban helicopter. Don't worry right? about it. Okay, I'm sorry. Right? He grabs, like... He'll be walking in Times Square and he'll grab an Al Qaeda guy. They're just walking around in New York <laughs> with rocket launchers and everything, going shopping. And he'll grab them and just tell me where Bin Laden is. And he'll go, Hezbollah, Hezbollah, I don't know. <laughs> and they'll say it in an English accent. Uh, but if they say Hezbollah enough, people will believe it and it'll be all right. Uh, and then he just licks them and goes, 
And then he licks his way through Al-Qaeda to find out where he is. Every lick he takes takes him one step closer. And he says, every lick I take takes me one step closer. (laughs) Until eventually, right, in... Where else is famous in New York? Uh, Times Square? Times Square again. Yeah, (laughs) why not? There, there is the big conclusion, right? It's Willem Dafoe and Gene Simmons as Bin Laden. <laughs> and he says, right, I'm going to lick you. <laughs> Why? He and... knows he did it. There's it's no... It's superpower. <laughs> it's okay. a superpower, Jonathan. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. He'll, yes. he'll, I will lick you and then you will go to the jail. <laughs> and Bin Laden says, ha, 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 Hezbollah. I don't think so. And pulls out his secret weapon, right? Yeah. Which is a pot of peanut butter. And he smears it on his face. This isn't racist. He smears it on his face. And then Willem Dafoe goes, rats, with that peanut butter. (laughs) 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 He just says this to no. No, he grabs a passerby and then just shouts in his face and goes, rats, without this (laughs) peanut butter. (laughs) <laughs> With this peanut butter obscuring his flavour, I'll never be able to catch him. And then Bin Laden walks backwards and says, try and find me now. And he's in the crowd. And Willem Dafoe is just grabbing random passerbys and licking them and going, are you Bin Laden? <laughs> and he grabs another passerby, are you Bin Laden? <laughs> and he can't find him because he's covered in peanut butter, which works because of some reasons. Well, I mean, you, I've licked peanut butter before. It's all you can taste. It's very overpowering. Yeah, so he can Sticky, too. Yeah. It's like in uh, Predator, when um, Schwarzenegger smears cold mud on himself and then the Predator can't see him. Right. If you put the peanut butter on him, and then Willem Dafoe can't find him because his power is in his tongue. So he's just grabbing passers-by and hoping if he licks them, it will taste like Bin Laden and he'll know he's got the right man. And Bin Laden's like running around Times Square saying, I'm over here, or maybe I'm <laughs> over here. And he can't see him. You can so, also just try to pick out the guy who tastes like peanut butter or looks like Osama Bin Laden. Or yeah, both. He could do that, but he won't. <laughs> Because otherwise we won't have the... It's got to taste like Bin Laden. We won't have the dramatic conclusion. Well, yeah, what happens? It, it rains. And it washes the peanut butter <sighs> off. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes, Oh, no! Oh, no! Like that. Just, like, for about ten minutes, just holding his face, going, Oh, no! Oh, no! And then Willem Dafoe goes, My tongue is picking something up! <laughs> What? Is it just in the air? Is he just sticking his tongue out? Like, ah. I don't know, he's just grabbing, like, passers by. Oh, okay, so he's still licking strangers. Yeah, it works on some level, but, like, now he's just licking his way closer to be, like, swimming with his tongue through a sea of people. Just. (laughs) Like that. And then he grabs Bin Laden and everyone cheers, and he licks his face. But as he licks, he is licking Bin Laden's <laughs> skin off. Whoa! And then it is just... Why? And then it is just a skull. And the skull looks at him and, s- <laughs> and says... I am a skeleton! <laughs> and then it grows... With vocal cords and everything? Just yeah. talking? Yeah. No lips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just says, I am a skeleton! Grows wings and flies into the sun. Wow, what kind of wings? Um, bone wings without any <laughs> skin on. But they're just like, if you see a, like a skeleton dragon, it's oh, sure. just like big bony points coming out and they flap and he flies into the sun. And then the sun has a big skull face forever. And the skull, like the sun skull, is just looking at planet Earth, just going, ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, it's terrifying. It's <laughs> totally lose at the very last second. It's, it's just, just doom. It's and just laughing. It's just laughing. Evil sun. And, <laughs> and then just before the credits roll, um, Willem Dafoe looks up and stares directly into the sun. And the subtitle will come up underneath just saying, don't worry, kids, it's safe to do this. And he'll look directly into the sun. And then he'll say to his um, sidekick, who is played by... Danny DeVito? No, not Danny DeVito. He's... <laughs> He's got no place in these Willem Dafoe movies. What the hell are you talking about? He was in, uh, Blood, in Blood Brothers. No, it is the guy who plays 
Niles from Frasier. <laughs> David Hyde Pierce. <laughs> He's got two sidekicks, David Hyde Pierce and iCarly. And he looks at David Hyde Pierce and he says, Hey, Chumpo, because that's his name, Detective Chumpo. <laughs> Give me some Baco foil. It's time I licked the sun skull in the sky. And then the credits roll. <laughs> so that's uh, obviously a teaser or even a cliffhanger, one would say. For the, or the, the, taste, the taste of crime too. Sun kissed. <laughs> Now, Jim, I I didn't want to say this before, but this this premise has actually been done. Isn't that crazy? What? Yeah, there's a comic book called Chew about a guy who eats crime scenes, and when he eats them, he sees what crimes happened during whatever he's tasting. He doesn't lick it. He actually eats it. But... Like how uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale may be like Smash Brothers, but because they're doing it so well, it, it'll justify its own existence. You justified taking that premise and doing it your own way in, in, in such a manner that Chew could never live up to that. You've just un- unchewed Chew. You outchewed it. You outchewed Chew, Jim. Has, has Chew ever, like, like, eaten, used condoms? I don't. He's eaten some gross stuff, and he hates it. And he's like, I really don't want to eat like what looks like the remains of a guy's hand. And they're like, you got to eat it. We have to find out how, how he got his hand cut off, and he eats it. And I think he just like vomits it up later. Yeah, that's like the worst premise for a fucking. Comic. It's a very popular <laughs> comic book, dog. Very popular. Image Comics. You know, it's a big, big time. Todd McFarlane and stuff reads it. It's real good. Yeah. So, Jim, isn't that weird that the weirdest premise you've probably come up with yet was actually, it's already being done right now. Chew. It's a little disappointing. Sorry. I hope you don't feel foolish. Right. You know, for whatever reason, the whole time you were doing that pitch, I just kept imagining William Defoe is really a, a lick a ton from Pokemon. And like... <laughs> that would work. I, it would look like, it would look more original if William Defoe was painted pink throughout the whole thing. Yeah, that, that would be original. <laughs> Oh, painting pink people just a little bit pinker, like a Be- uh, Pepto Bismol shade of pink, is so so creepy. Yeah, I wonder if we could get the music for Final Fight for that. That's when you're doing the pitch. For some reason, I was thinking of uh, the music from the first stage of Final Fight. It's pretty good music. It's like music of the streets, really. It'd be a fun movie, though. That would be a great movie. You It'd know, Willem Dafoe of- licking Brendan Fraser's face, and the licking- tagline could be. It's going to be a tasty adventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. The taste of crime, it's going to be a tasty adventure. It is. It's like a lick out of crime. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, we could come up, we could bundle what I was, when I said it at the beginning, we could have the tongue arm of the law is going to mm. take a lick out of crime in a tasty adventure. In a tasty adventure. <laughs> yeah. Don't. You so know, sit down with your best bud, brackets, taste buds. <laughs> you won't have to wash your mouth out with soap. Yeah, you won't have a sour time. <laughs> How can you say yeah after what I said? <laughs> what I said was just, I was trying to be as terrible as I could. And you were like, oh, of course. You're very supportive, Jim. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> That was me being a bit of a monkey. <laughs> <laughs>